So tell me about Spiroflow. Miles Spiroflow is a 42-year-old process equipment conveying company. Originally, we were started in Clitheroe, England, and we moved to the U.S. about 22 years ago. We're in the industry of moving bulk materials between different machines in a process within a plant. Uh, so it may be from a roaster to packaging, it may be from the green beans into a roaster, so it's wherever we can move equipment or bulk materials in the process side of the industry. And what variety of products and services do you offer? Well, uh, Spiroflow system is uh, industry agnostic, we like to say. <laughs> so not just the coffee industry, but uh, coffee, tea, obviously anything in the food industry, it may be things from flour, baking products, everything in the chemical industry, mining industry, uh, food, pharmaceuticals. So we truly are anything to do with bulk materials. I notice you have rice in here. We do, we do. Rice, especially here on the West Coast in the Seattle area and down in the Sacramento area, mm -hmm. area is a, uh, a big opportunity, a big product we move. You told me a little bit about the history. Is there more about uh, the history that you'd like to say? Yeah, my partner, uh, Michelle Potovan, started the company, as I say, 42 years ago, designing the first flexible screw in the industry. Uh, we actually had the original patents on the flexible screw in Europe and brought them to the U.S. about 40 years ago. Uh, we have uh, 8,000 products in our product sample database that we've tested. Uh, we have engineering with about 250 years of process conveying experience. So we truly believe we're probably the most uh, experienced uh, uh, company in the process conveying industry. What kind of competitive advantage do you have over? Well, again, our uh, opportunity to have worked for 40 years in this industry. So four decades of experience. Uh, we've been able to design plants from scratch. We've been able to go in and retrofit products uh, for various operations. We've been able to go in and create great efficiencies for customers, both on the maintenance side as well as the energy consumption side. But we're in the coffee world. We are in the coffee world. What do you offer um, us? We, we, we offer you the same thing, actually. In our uh, uh, drag conveyor lines, both a cable and a chain drag conveyor, in our flexible screw conveyor area, we're the only company that I'm aware of in the industry that uh, offers a continuous blending using flexible screws to the coffee industry. So if the coffee industry or some of the companies there are trying to add dry materials, whether they be vitamins or other powdered flavors to their coffee, rather than use V-blenders, we have the ability to do a continuous blending uh, application for them. In the drag industry, so in the drag conveyors and pneumatic conveying systems, uh, we've got a wide range from being able to convey in the neighborhood of 4,000 pounds an hour up to 40,000 pounds per hour for a customer. Yeah. Well, uh, how do you differentiate this from uh, the your competitors? Because the, the the chain guys. And yep. We are. We have the broadest range of applications and products in the industry, and I and I truly mean that. So, all of our competitors that are. At, uh, approaching the coffee industry have one or two solutions they can offer to a customer. We offer five different means of mechanical conveying. We offer a pneumatic line of conveying as well. So our belief is that we want to go in and offer the customer the right solution for their application, not just the only solution we can offer. Our experience also with air mechanical conveying led to our designs on the drag conveyor and a patented application we have on what we call our dynamic auto rope tensioner that gives us much longer extended rope life than our competitors in the industry. Well, you know, everybody in coffee is worried about uh, damage and binding yep. and all that. Uh, degradation is a big issue. We continually test uh, for our customers uh, for degradation. We have less than a quarter of 1% uh, degradation in the coffee beans, uh, especially when we're uh, looking at conveying green coffee. Uh, we also look at things uh, for our uh, maintenance issues for our coffee. So while you're looking at degradation, they're also looking at downtime on their system because many of the larger roasters cannot afford to be down for hours or, or days to replace equipment or parts. So what really deeply do you want our readers to know about Spiroflow? We want to have a relationship with our customers. I know that's a, a term that's used often in most industries, but truly, we want to bring the customers in for tests, like our relationship with Starbucks. We bring them in, they can see our engineering, they can see our uh, the way we approach an application, and they become part of our company and working with us on the engineering and the design. We don't want to just sell a piece of equipment. 90%, truly 90% of our equipment is custom made and designed for the customer. It's off a basic platform, but each customer has specific applications uh, that they need us to take care of. And you go from the smaller size roaster all the way to the large roaster? We go from boutique roasters all the way up to the Folgers with chain drag conveyors operating 24-7 the Starbucks, the 8 o'clock coffees, Tetley teas, yes we do. I'd love to see how some of this works. Can you show me through the equipment? Miles, I'd be uh, delighted to. Uh, sitting behind us here is a flexible screw conveyor. 
A flexible screw conveyor is just exactly what the name implies. The screw within the tube is actually flexible and this allows us to bend and can actually convey vertically up to 90 degrees and up to about 50 feet. Primarily used for ground coffee into packaging systems or into blending systems where they're going to go from packaging. This again is where our company started. The material is actually conveyed not as an Archimedean screw, but the material actually acts as its own bearing surface within the tube and is conveyed very gently up the tube. Processing rates, we can go from a two inch conveyor up to an eight inch conveyor and convey up to about 40,000 pounds per hour of material with one of these. So is this a flat auger or a round? That's actually a round screw. We have various screw designs depending on the application for the industry. But for coffee, a round screw is usually what we use and the most suitable for the application. Great. So this is the type of system that we are used to seeing in coffee. Explain to me what's taking place here. Uh, Miles, this is probably our workhorse for the coffee industry. This is a cable drag conveyor. Our proprietary name for it is the cable flow conveyor. Um, it essentially is a cable, a stainless steel aircraft grade cable with uh, discs that are attached to that cable at intervals that mechanically drag the coffee through the pipes. These things can run a couple of hundred feet in a direction. They can change plane and go out of plane. They can have multiple inlet points and multiple outlet points, and they're very energy efficient. Um, they do have some limitations into the applications that they can be used for, but primarily in the coffee business, it's our, it's our go-to conveyor for the coffee industry. Our design on this is a little bit different from our competitors and we take it off of our aeromechanical conveyor that we've been using for about 25 years in that we have a disc or a sprocket that has a continuous concentric, concentric circle and we have a proprietary um, dynamic automatic rope tensioner. This is a tensioning device that keeps the, the cable properly tensioned, not stressed but properly tensioned to give extremely long rope life. The design of our sprocket and that dynamic uh, rope tensioner give us much longer rope life than our competitors. This is quite a toy. It's in my garage, I think. <laughs> well, we could probably build a couple garages for you with one of these miles. Um, a significant part of our business, and we're seeing a significant change in the trend in the coffee industry, is to go from 110-pound bags or other bulk containers to super sacks or bulk bags of materials. Right. Um, they can either be used for transportation. They can be used for one company may roast it. In the case of one of our customers, they will roast a proprietary blend and then ship the bulk bags of material to a packaging company. Mm -hmm. um, or they can use these for storage. So they'll be shipped. We can put a plastic liner in these, nitrogen purge the bags, and has a very extended shelf life so they could last for a year or two, uh, roasted coffee in one of these bags, and then be used later for processing. They use it to ease the surge in demand for their customers as well as for transportation and storage. We make both bulk bag filling machines, which is what this one is, and we're seeing a, a very strong interest, especially at the show here from Latin America, from the producers mm -hmm. uh, to fill them and then behind it uh, in the very background is bulk bag discharging machines which is where they take these bags in the roasting plant and discharge the material. I've seen this type of system, probably this system, in a number of uh, medium sized roasters yep. which surprised me because you know, they, they really don't roast as heavily as some of the large commercial roasters and they're using it because of storage expense and efficiencies and many other reasons and it's been a very successful it, it has been very successful in the coffee industry and growing rapidly great this is a seriously fancy machine tell me about it Miles, this is an aeromechanical conveyor. This is something we've had in our product line for about 25 years. Uh, we actually, one of the customers in one of the uh, companies displaying here, Excelso Coffee, uh, had one of these in operation for over 14 years with the same set of ropes and discs on it and no maintenance for 14 years. So uh, this one, again, has been a go-to for us for the coffee industry for a long, long time. Pretty simple in design. Uh, this one runs uh, at about 1,100 feet per minute, about 10 times faster than our cable drag conveyor does. Um, and it actually creates an airstream between the disc within the pipe that entrains the coffee, and typically used only for ground coffee, entrains the coffee in that airstream. And it somewhat acts like a pneumatic conveying system with about one-tenth the energy use. These things can convey up to about 20 tons per hour, so a very high conveying rate or low conveying rate if we slow them down. Um, a proprietary design for the sprocket and the concentric circle uh, keeps our rope 
um, not stressed or tensioned or bent like some other applications do, and it gives, gives us a very long lo rope life. Our dynamic automatic rope tensioner is something we developed and patented about five years ago. This reduces the maintenance almost to zero one of these units when they're put in place. Uh, a very simple conveyor for the coffee industry, again, a go-to for a lot of our applications when, within the coffee industry. And it lifts from the chute, which is at our feet, up and discharges there. This can convey horizontal, uh, horizontally or can vertically. Um, it doesn't make any difference what the orientation is, so you can take it and convey it along a path down through a plant process, or you can convey it up 40 feet vertically if you need to lift it to a roaster or something of that sort. Terrific. Yeah. A great product. Thank you.